everybody, Joe coming to you from Sedona, Arizona, and we've had great clouds so far this week, and now we have an afternoon without a cloud in the sky. It's just solid blue skies. So what can you do with your composition to make it more interesting when there are no clouds to, draw, to add some drama to the skies? And a couple of things you can do are look for the foreground elements, look for the stuff leading up to your subject, minimize the sky, and see if you can find some framing elements like trees. You can see some trees over there to use around the subject so you can still create some interest. When I was heading out this morning to go on a pink Jeep tour to the back country, we all of a sudden got these really beautiful clouds. So I didn't think we were gonna get any blue sky shots. Now that we're taking an afternoon walk and we have our solid blue skies, we've got some interesting things to shoot that have no clouds. And we're gonna adjust our comp compositions accordingly. Let's go do it. So I'm going to take you through a walk of some of the places that we visited and uh, when we didn't have any clouds in the sky. And this first spot is the trail around Bell Rock in Sedona. And you can see we really didn't need clouds. Now let's move on to the Grand Canyon. Well, the Grand Canyon in the sky a lot of times doesn't have to be the subject. Look at this beautiful sunrise as the formations get some morning light. It really certainly didn't need any sky. So that's another option. Don't use the sky at all. And there are a lot of amazing trees and where they grow out of, it's just remarkable if you just slow down and look. Let's take a closer look at this one. You can see perched up on there overlooking the canyon, just stunningly beautiful in the morning light. This is called Duck on a Rock. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And then this tree was probably my favorite with the canyon behind it. Next, we took a hike in a place called Perea, and we were after this section called the Perea Toadstools. And it's kind of amazing that they just form there naturally. There are these cap rocks that are on these towers of sandstone. And in addition, there's all kinds of different colorations in the valley as you're walking in. And if you look for a bit, there's some really funny, interesting faces there as well. But here's a garden of some of those cap rocks, and it's hard to imagine that that's naturally occurring. Here's a couple of smaller ones. You can see the one up on top of the hill. Let's look a little closer at one of the all white ones. It's just a remarkable place to take a hike. And did we need clouds? Lastly, for this presentation to you, I'll share some shots from Lower Antelope Canyon and we will come back here. Lower Antelope Canyon is probably best when there are no clouds because the blue just really offsets. And even when there's a spot where the clouds are not coming through, it's just a stunning place and you don't even need those blue skies. What is the story here? The story is just because there's not a cloud in the sky does not mean there are no photographs to be had. There are still a lot of great photographs to be had, as you can see behind me and from the examples that we've got here. So don't let it stop you from going out and having a good time and get some great photographs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you online again soon. Bye-bye.